Every hour, every day, this wife and mother says she suffers, living with the consequences of what she calls a horrible mistake. The wrong choice I made, my choice of wanting to earn money for my treatment, led to the worst situation of my life, says Kim Ryon Hee. Kim went to China four years ago, seeking medical care for liver disease, but found she couldn't afford it. She says a broker tricked her into going to South Korea, promising she'd make a lot of money to pay her bills. Kim says she didn't realize once she signed the papers renouncing her North Korean citizenship, she could never go home. <laughs> At the time, she says she didn't even know what a North Korean defector meant. Desperate to return to her family, Kim says she pretended to be a North Korean spy, hoping to be deported, instead ending up in prison. Today, she's out on parole, working at a recycling plant. Kim says she's trapped in South Korea. Her arms bear the scars of multiple suicide attempts. In Pyongyang, I meet Kim's husband and 21-year-old daughter, who hasn't seen her mom since she was 17. She asks why. Why can't she come back? Why do we have to go through such suffering? We ask if they'd like to send her a message. To my wife in South Korea, don't forget here you have parents, a husband and daughter, and a socialist nation. Keep on fighting until the end. We show their message to Kim. The first time she's seen her family in four years. <laughs> what am I going to do, she says. Kim also asked to send a message, a tearful apology to her family. Hello. We meet once again with Kim's husband and daughter. They promise to relay her message to her aging parents, unsure when or if they'll ever be reunited. To these two chairs right here, please. South Korea's unification ministry says the law does not allow them to bring this family back together. Like so many others on the divided Korean peninsula, <coughs> the anguish of separation, <coughs> one of thousands of families torn apart. As the video plays, no words, just heartbreak. Will Ripley, CNN, Pyongyang, North Korea.